So she tells me that every now when they when they do that, do they do they give you stories about their youth and what happened in 1963? That Sadly, all this came from a storage unit. And grandfather's passed away, and we've got fishing stuff and boating equipment. I just sold a boating motor uh, motor that was never used. So, uh, a yeah. a boating motor that was never used. So this yeah. is all your grandfather's stuff. Yeah. Well, it must be heartbreaking to must be heartbreaking to to get a bunch of cash for stuff that you weren't going to use. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's quite a bit. This is just the surface. I'll probably be here for the next six months. Oh, well, good. To, uh, well, and the thing I'm collection, I guess. interested in today is this 1963 boat navigation system that she is selling for a mere $100 yeah. made by Concord. And probably in its time, it probably sold for significantly yeah, more money I, I today. It six or seven hundred, and I, I think online still I could probably go and get a few hundred for it. But, you know, what am I going to do with it? Well, it's easier to sell it here. Right. And so uh, when the, you said that one guy after another asked you about it, what did they ask you about it? I mean, what there it is. Until I finally put a note on it. Oh, I, I see. <laughs> so they couldn't read. That, they right. couldn't read right. that. So I can see why they might need a navigation <laughs> system so they can find the top of the box. Right. Exactly. Okay. So what is your name, young lady? My name is Steph. Stephanie. Yes. And Stephanie, you are selling these stuff from your grandfather's estate? It's actually a family collection, yeah. A grandma, family collection. Grandma, Is that uh, those paddles there are there for, for, for when he uh, igloo'd uh, up for, to the... Uh, um, what do you call it? Canoe. The canoe. Canoe. Now, uh, is that a representation of your, uh, of your grandfather there? No. That's actually Ecuadorian. That's more my heritage. It's Ecuadorian wood carving. Now, was your grandfather an, an interesting old coot? Uh, he was a Gemini. He was a photographer. He's fam he photographed a lot of famous people. We just found. Uh, and who were who were some of the famous people we that he? We found a bunch of Clark Gables. Uh huh. And Gary Cooper and Carol Lombard, and we found all these candid photographs. And so he used to go to the nightclubs and things like no, that. No, he was a photographer. That's what he. Did. Okay, so he was like a studio photographer, and they came to him. Was he located in Hollywood or? Yes. So so he was a Hollywood. When, about what years was was that? 60s. Gee, do you know where in Hollywood it was? They went to Hollywood High. That's where um, I went to. Where? I'm not sure. Ah. I'm not sure. So he was. So what was his name? Cecil Wallace. Cecil. So was it the Cecil Wallace Studios of Hollywood? It was. Um, I'm finding a lot of that stuff. Yeah, there is actually like a Wallace studio. So there was some some of the things, but they were everything was in Hollywood. Everything's got a number and a edition on the back. And so these were like publicity stills that he would yes. that he would do. Yes. So the the so the studios would send their big stars to him, and then he would take some great photographs of them. And what, how, when did you find out about all this? Uh, just recently I'm finding out about all well, this. Well, was, so. was that kind of a shock to you to find out that your grandfather was a somebody? Right. He's my partner's grandfather. So that's my grandfather is German and he's a carpet installer. But this is my partner's grandfather. This was his stuff. But all of this is amazing to me. And then he worked for NASA, for Rockwell, for 20 years. He photographed Apollo 11. He photographed all the different warheads and all the other stuff that we're finding out as well. Now, is this coming on the market here one day? One day. Okay. Sorting off layer 